All right. At the end of the day, I would like to introduce you to the woman behind JT Productions, the woman that puts this pageant on the map year after year after year. I've had the pleasure of meeting the kindest, the hardest working publicist, A-list publicist. Now, there's a difference. Some people have publicists, and they know people, but they don't know the right people. My publicist knows everyone in NBC, CBS, ABC, every cable station, TV One, every newspaper, and I love her to death. We love her to death. Without further ado, I would like to introduce to some, announce to others, Mary Moore, much more communication. <laughs> <laughs> Only one with flats on in the Yay. room, too. Yes, well, thank you, Miss Teresa. Yes. And I'm so glad to see the new crop. Y'all are so gorgeous mm. for the new pet for, for next year's pageant. And I won't belabor it, but um, I have actually, I brought something for everybody. I don't know where Miss okay. Teresa put the piles. I brought one of these for everybody so that you can see that she does focus on exposure. So if nothing else, you're going to get a lot from this pageant, truly. As, as, um, that Aisha was saying, you get a lot from this pageant, but another thing you get is exposure, because um, I'm a publicist, and we had a lot of exposure this year for the pageant that we had in March of 2011. Yes. This page, uh, which you're getting handed out, will tell you um, some of the highlights of what happened um, for this year's pageant. Some of the highlights of the pageant for this year. Well, by the way, this pageant, the Miss Full Figure USA pageant, just so you know, was the recipient of the Full Figure Fashion Week's Plus Pageant right. of the Year yeah. Award. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. The creme de la creme yeah, of yes. Plus Pageants. Yes, right. Ms. Teresa, JT Pageant Production. Oh, yes. Ms. Ms. Teresa, Mr. Teresa. Yes. yes. So now, some of the highlights of the pageant uh, publicist, pu publicity for this year were the Tom Joyner Morning Show, where Ms. Teresa told all about the pageant one morning on the Tom Joyner Morning Show. 1010 Wins Radio, where we were on twice, the day of the pageant and the day after the pageant to say who the winners were. Um, the winners actually were on. Then we had News 12 New Jersey, which I brought a copy of, um, where Miss Teresa was on and she took a couple of the winners with her. So there is exposure if you win. Well, the exposure anyway, but when you win, there's a way more exposure. Uh, we also had the Files 1 News, TV News, they came to the pageant, as did News 12 New Jersey, they came to the pageant. So usually during the pageant, you're going to be busy changing clothes, running around, doing your face, doing your hair, and I'm, I'm, I'm lurking going, can you talk to somebody for me, please? Right. In between, could you, could, you could you take a picture, blah, 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 when the, when the TV crews show up. Then another highlight was the NBC Nightly News with Chuck Scarborough, where Miss Teresa made an appearance and took a couple of the winners also. Also, BronxNet TV's open morning show with Dr. Bob Lee from WBLS. One morning, Ms. Teresa was on there with a couple of the winners also. And then following that, I've, I serviced the photos of the winners from the pageant, and they get run in newspapers. So the New York Beacon ran the picture. The Examiner.com, which is a huge website, ran the photo as well. And the Essex Times, which I think is laying around here somewhere, the Essex Times ran the photo as well. It looks, it looks real yellow, and I don't know why, because it was only, this is only June, no, April of this year. But it's all yellow looking, probably from where I had it land. But this is, let me get my fingers out the way. This is the photo that I serviced, the pageant photo of Ms. Teresa and the winners from this year. That was in the Essex Times, and it was in, like I said, a couple of other places. And this isn't everything, this is just some highlights to give you an idea of the interest that there is in this pageant. There's a lot of interest in beautiful, full-figured women, trust me, out there in the media world. It's, you know, there's a lot of skinny models in America's Next Top Model and blah, 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 but this is very different, very specialized, and a lot of people are very interested. So, like I said, you're going to, you're in for getting a lot of exposure, so get ready. Okay. All right, let's get married now. Oh, yeah. And there's a um, code of conduct. Well, I want to call it code of conduct, but there is a code of conduct um, for how to conduct yourself when you're representing the pageant. Well, one thing I want to talk about is being on time. <clears throat> yes. Because we had an incident. May I talk about it, please? You can. Is it okay? They heard a little, but you can. They, they heard a little bit about yes. it? Yes. Okay.